to our comedy haven, where Karens become the unwitting stars of Karma's grand show. From their infamous demands to Karma's slapstick responses, it's all about embracing the lighter side of life. Now, not everyone takes kindly to not getting their daily dose of cheese, you know? Is that all for you? It's free, yeah! Oh no, get away! More cheese! More cheese! <laughs> it's pretty funny. This Karen aggressively lunges her bag at the counter windows, having a meltdown over some donuts. I honestly don't even know anymore. Karens will freak out over the smallest of things. No! No! Karen thinks she knows this man well enough to doubt he can average a score of 280 in bowling. She even thought he was referring himself as God, but he's simply just that guy. One, you're supposed to be in appropriate shoes. These are PBA approved. I don't care. For yeah, a comment that you made about a, a 230 average as an amateur, you don't know nothing about bowling if you think that is an amateur average. I mean, I average a 280, so like, I'm just tough you like that. You average 280? I don't believe you. Do you know how you carry a 280 average? You gotta be him. I'm him. I'm slash him. You are not him. You are not him. No, no, no. You are not him. So no, I'm not him. I'm just him. One, two, three. Karens don't like to see. Anybody being free and happy sung to the tune of Her Majesty Britney Spears. Hey. Yo. Hey. Get the fuck out Back up. Right Let's now. go. Hey, Come on. excuse me. I'm not driving, okay? I, right, let's go. Come on. I'm yeah. not driving. Back off like that, or I'm gonna call no, the cops you, on you. I'm not the we driver, man. Right there. So then, why don't you move? What are you talking about? The can lady you? was pulling out. I'm okay. not the driver. Okay. I, I can you understand. back away? Do you understand? And I will. All right, so come on. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna have that guy arrested for do it for pounding on my property. Stop! Stop the car! Stop the car! Yo, dude, I'm about to call the cops on you if you don't get away. Shut up. You shut up. Calm the cops on you. You're arrested. You're arrested. Oh, how dare you? Okay. okay. Then go you know who loves playing judge and jury? This Karen right here who's out on neighborhood patrol. Filming this for evidence. Excuse me, neighbor. You're the new neighbors that moved in, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, Welcome to the neighborhood. Um, I Just for evidence, don't worry. What? Um, I, I wanted to let you know that we've been chatting. There's no washing your car in the driveway. There's no rule. That's not an HOA neighborhood. Yeah, well, we have a group of people here, and it may not be a real HOA, but it's a it's a club, and you we, we think it's trashy. We're gonna get you evicted from Let me here. Explain something to you. Number one, oh, don't come into my. I'm not sure why you're advancing on me, sir. I'm advancing on you because you're in my driveway. In the state of Florida, let me tell you something. You come in my domain. Call yourself some problems, okay? You can take that any way you want to. Okay, sir. Well, you, I, can wash I, my truck I feel in my like driveway. you're scaring fact, me. I'm, I'm calling. This woman walked up to this guy and demanded his ID and address. Then she called him ignorant. Can you just say that again? You're going to pull my ID and my address. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said your IP address. Oh, your IP. Oh, you're, you're going to DOS? Okay, do you know? Do you even know what it means when you pull someone's IP address? Right. Do you even know what that does? You don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, wait, here, I'm gonna give you a quick lesson. When you get someone's IP address, that's dosing them. That is a felony if you dos somebody. You just threatened to commit a felony, and I you're giving me your anything. You literally are like, let's pull his IP. I told you right now that you cannot, you are not authorized to record me. I'm, I'm just trying this to work, and you came in. Internet or even goes on any social Oh, it's already on the internet. You will be held legally responsible. Go I said for you it. Are not authorized. Oh, you know, I'm gonna, anything, I'm gonna post this to Reddit. Yo, I'm at a farm farm. <laughs> This is gonna be great. Is that funny too? That's funny. Yeah, it's funny because you, you're just being so, in, you come in here yes, being entitled. Seems like two Karens having petty physical arguments. One swings the door open on the employee on purpose, and the employee throws a drink at the other. You decide in the comments who the true Karen in this situation is. Yeah, I just had a date. 
Yeah. Because she's got me. Who's going home? Where's your car? It's over there. Okay, you want this code to your car? No. I want corporate's number. I want her fired. I literally just got a drink poured on me. After I told you this shit was going to happen. After I told you this was going to happen. I asked you to go home. I did. She followed me outside. She followed me outside. She hit the door. What? Are you kidding me? Alicia. You better be kidding me. I still have a car. Are you recording me? You're good. What the? Are you kidding me? Don't be recording you. Don't be throwing a drink at she somebody. She bought me with the fucking door. You're a homie. Are you serious? That's outside. Oh, that so it makes it okay to so do So it's okay for her to bump me out the door, right? I just want to tell you something. I'm, I'm recording this. Take this off. No. Right? Listen to me. You're recording this. Here we have an argument between young and old. This cruise comes with an itinerary that features a showdown with Kens and Karens. What? No, tell me what I'm I said. I'm asking you. I didn't say anything. I what said you were watching me. Go ahead, tape. What did you just say to my wife? Me? Yeah. What? No, what? I, I said she was watching me. Why? Because I'm asking you to. Or I'm going to take the phone away from you. Either put it down or I'm going to take it away from you. Why? This is my phone. Put it down. Put the phone down. All right, what's your name? Let's see. Okay. Yo, bro. Chance Apathy. Bro, can you like... Bro, who does this guy think he is? And this one, too, taking a video. No, I'm just I was not part of them. I was not part of them. I was not part of them. Me and Kim are just being... Show it to your parents. Show them that your parents are part of you. Disrespect you. Oh, my God. How your parents have taught you taping, I hope. Yeah. Show your mom and dad how they, your parents have taught you to be so go. disrespectful. There you go. No, I'm you've just filming for job. my safety. You've done a Show real, your you've done a, tell your parents Show that they've done a real good safety. job of oh, yeah, teaching you no guy. respect. Are those some Oakleys? No, they're not. But just teach these Kens try to record this hotel manager to make her seem like she's in the wrong. However, if you listen closely, it's clear that the Kens are the Karens. Did you take a picture of her? Did you? This is, that's really hurtful, Michelle, you know? It I'm really sorry is. that you guys this feel is not the way this is this really at hurtful. all. That was at really hurtful. All. I'm sorry you guys feel that ridiculous. way. But there's no, it's ridiculous. You guys right. are literally being ridiculous. No, really. No, we're not. You are, though. No, we are no, not. No, you really are, though, because you know you what? Guys, you guys I'm the are guest. Upset by I'm the one. How you guys found the park today. What Not the park on the park. She didn't tell you everything then, did she? She did. She told us that you had a list of several things that you found in our parks and in our resorts and in our restaurants. Multiple li multiple things and, on a list. And people and we can reach people out to those locations and let them know. And your guests being homophobic? Your guests being homophobic and hate criming me? Okay. If you're talking about a guest everything. having another opinion of another guest, we don't control that. Wow. Okay. I guess we, we don't. Leaving. I guess we're just leaving them because she's clearly no help. She's no help. No, so let's just get back and There's no one above you that There's nobody else above me. No. Over Is there the a number I can call? We gave you the information. Hold on tight. The epic Karen meltdown at the end is not to be missed. Yes, ma'am. That is exactly how you raise kids. 76 Give cents. me my change. Yes, ma'am. It's $11. Well, let me back. Give me and my change. Yes, ma'am. It's eleven seventy-six. Why are you videoing something? Get my change. Cause video whatever you want to video. Give me my damn change. Don't. Mm -hmm. We will not be back to this restaurant. Do y'all know how many times we have been to this restaurant and to be insulted by this man about a soda in a cup? We will not be back. Sorry, man. No one got no Facebook or Twitter. No one will be back. We will not be back in this restaurant. You go crazy about a drink. Like, I don't want to pay you asshole. Let me show you how much money I have in my purse, bitch. If I have to pay, bitch, I can pay you for a drink, you asshole. Okay. You're Have a nice day. Two dollar drink. Thank you. To ever try me because I'm black? You think you can try me by soda because I'm black? Okay. So I got three dollars to get you a fucking keep all the keep all that. Have a nice day. I'm to believe that the Karen here is the one following and yelling at others about allegedly stealing money from her. I'm willing to bet that's not the truth based on the couple's reactions. What are your thoughts? Such a Emily. You're gonna play victim all the time. Forever you're gonna play victim. You owe me so much money. You. My old roommate showed up while I was walking my dog with my boyfriend. It's the same city. We live in the same place. She has been following me and yelling at me 
Yep, you owe me my money. <laughs> You're the the just like you. You're yeah. a child. She also I'm a child. You're a child. child. You're You're a weak girlfriend oh, stole God. from me. Get the You're away from You're enabling us. toxic okay, behavior. Okay, yeah, this, this is walking away from you is toxic behavior. I'm talking about the fact that you're not calling her out on stealing from she me. She did not it's steal anything did. from you, you I idiot. She stole money, you dumb Okay, okay. Are you joking? Not worth it. you. I don't care, Emily, your friends her told me where you live, Daddy. so I know where you live. Okay. I don't care. Yeah. yeah, Fisher. Karen Handbook says, you can't walk your dog on a sidewalk because sidewalks are made for guess what? Ah yes, cycling. Don't worry, this only happens in the world of Karens. It is a problem! What the f problem? You're not even apologizing! I know, oh, I don't yeah, need you're to. you're a pedestrian! Take it to do whatever you want! You're really making me laugh today. That's great. I'm really happy that you get a free comedy show. Okay, and so is everyone else. You were there illegally. Are you telling me that you had a green light? No, I'm telling you I was. No! Oh, you're right, you're right. You were there illegally? You're right. This, seriously. No, I'm not doing anything wrong right now. I'm just telling you the dog out of the way. There's something wrong with that. You understand? No, it's yeah. not! What's wrong with it? What's wrong you're with screaming, my right to have a bike What's wrong? What's all wrong right. with my right to have a bike lane? agree to disagree, all right? No, not disagree. Yes, I don't you agree. You broke the you. law. I don't care what you think. Do you understand what I'm saying? It means nothing to me now. You've I know it means it. nothing to me. So you. just go on with your day and I'll go no, online. What's going on with my day? Because I don't feel like it. You can go around the block. You got a different block. No, I live on this block, no, actually. Too bad. Yeah. guy's patience is wearing thin because this lady keeps arguing guess this karen is way too bored outside with this garden there okay you, you have a nice day work. i am working man you have a blessed day man you take care of yourself man day, and i will take care of myself uh, okay you, you have a nice day man vehicle. my vehicle is clean man i never had no bad ratings and nothing you man have. You don't have i have no bad ratings you have a blessed day man I you take care of yourself bye-bye man i am going to go bye-bye bye-bye thank you man you're welcome, but you need to take care of your car. Well, my car is taken care of, man. Car. My car is taken and I care wish of. I had my own, so I have like I said, you're the first cousin that ever done that. I mean, you have a nice day. People been nice. I be nice to people too. No, nah, that's not people being nice. It's just people had to do some respect. Uh, Ma'am, can you have some? Ma'am, can you please get out of my I'm car? Getting out of your car so please, you even because you 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 pushing me bad. you pushing me yeah. back, ma'am. You have a nice day. You have a nice yeah, day, ma'am. You have a nice day, ma'am. I will. You have a nice day. I will. Don't worry about that. I'm okay. Have a nice day. Thank you very much, ma'am. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am. Bye bye. Yeah, got you two on the face too. You have a nice day, ma'am. Can you please get out away from my car? Yeah, you take your pictures. You have a nice day, ma'am. You have a nice day. You bye, bye bye. Bye bye. You sweetheart. take care of yourself, ma'am. Bye bye. Thank you very much, man. Don't you dare say her son has flaws like every normal person or this Karen is going to ruin your wedding. She's not going to say my son has flaws. You can leave. You can leave. No, it's not going to happen to me. That dress you're wearing, we've been for. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. You're not going to ruin my wedding. You are not going to say my son has flaws. Wow. Everybody has flaws, and that's why I love them. Yeah. You can leave, yeah. Judy. Like, you don't have flaws. You can leave. You <laughs> can get out of my wedding now. I'm not leaving. That yes, dress you you're wearing, I'm paid for. Okay. Huh? Uh, let's, let's see. Get out. I'm going to get you out. Try it, and I'll have you arrested. Well, I'm in church. Tony, right. get her out of here. Let's this is not right. Let's respect the church, this is not. Let's respect the wedding. I'm not leaving.
It's not about you. She's in love with your son. Okay, it's that's the media face. Oh, that's the we all know guys that own these vans are alphas, and when alphas meet, egos clash. The most unbelievable Karen reaction awaits you at the end of this video. This is the worst landlord ever. What's wrong with them just picking fights with their tenants all the time? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm going to tell you what to do. Get off my property. Get off my property. It's my property. Get out of here. Get away. Get away from here. I'm not doing anything. I'm trying to talk to somebody. You're not talking to me. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'll be home. Get out of here. Call the cops. Call the cops. I have my cell phone right here. Get out of here. She's, it's her yard. So, Get out of here. But if you can maybe talk to her on the side. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't have to get out of yes, here. Yes, you do. No, I don't. That's Get out of here. No. Yes. No. Okay, the cops are coming right now. You're, you're my yard. Get out of here. No, I'm not here. Yes, you are. Nope. Get out of my yard. We'll see what he says when he gets okay, here. Okay, we'll see that. Get out of my yard oh, right now. I'm, I'm going to punch you right in the face. So get out of punch here. me in the face and I we will. can go to court for that too. No. You know, we go to court Stop. at 28, Katie. Stop it, Katie. She's, yeah. she's, you know Get out of here. Yeah, You're not we'll telling her. Look. Get out of here. Yeah. Hey, well, I don't have to be. Yes, can you report to 647 Irvine Avenue and we'll your place that I need to come? All right, please stop it over here. Thank you. Because it's really hard to I mean, rental property it's ladies over here it's on my property. <laughs> my name is Sharon Corson, C O U R S O N. 647. Yeah. She's a renter in the front house and she's not to be legally court twice. Right, because you try to evict us and you come and you've been fighting 6000 dollars. Get away, Hunter. Yeah. Why? I need the cops come over here right away, please. That's good for court. This is my property. I can drive right through here. Yeah. Everything. So I'm not in her property. She's just wackadoodle, as we can all see. <laughs> when the cops come, tell them I'll be more than happy to talk to them. They probably won't talk to me because they know how crazy she is. Looks like Karen's traveling packs, especially when it comes to not wearing masks. Really? You're back. Yes, I am. Oh, you are? Because I already have natural immunity. Yeah. You're not going to follow me around in the store and point at me to people. So I will video you. So we have a state regulation that... Uh, and it's not a law. You're an idiot. No. Oh, oh. So you're going to insult me now. So my Just wife leave is her a... Alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Here. Infectious diseases. Watch oh, is she? Alone. What are you doing? I'm getting you This is between, this is between the two of us. So what? Leave her alone. You got your mask on. You're safe. I'm sure you're vaccinated too. He right? is. He has a badge that says it. I do. Uh, 
So my wife is a doctor who specializes in infectious disease. Mm -hmm. So, you know, do you it's think that she just choice. doesn't know what she's talking about? It's her choice. It's her choice. Just yeah. leave her alone. No, there's a store requirement and a state requirement. It's, it's not a her mandate. Mandate. It's not job. You can't harass her. It's all of our job as a community to come together you're not and even make shopping. sure you're going around to shamed. harass people. Man. Then make sure that people are shamed when you're with He was following me. He walked me along. Put the rest of us at risk. He's vaccinated. I know, and he has a badge on. Stop following me. By publicly shaming me? Yeah, you're making a bad decision. You're a bad American. I am. I totally am. And I yes. voted for Trump. Yeah, you're a bad Yay, person. Trump, you're a bad person for doing it. I'm not a bad person because my mom was vaccinated and still ended up in the hospital. Yeah, well, it's very, very unusual. Oh, right. It's not unusual. I just had somebody die last week of COVID. Doctor specializes in infectious disease. Are you saying that she just makes this stuff up? She Probably. No, saying that she has a choice and you have a choice. Yeah, well, the store has a policy. You're harassing. You're harassing and setting a bad example. Well, there's no need for murder. You can have scores of the building. I do not have scores. This is America. He even has a badge on that says that he's been following me around the store yelling at me. Are you serious? Yes. These ladies have been very supportive. I know. Ready for the grand finale? Stick around to see how this Karen saga concludes. This man calmly handles a racist Ken employee that yelled at the man's son. This is the best way this kind of situation could be handled. Props to this guy for being the bigger man and giving this Ken a life lesson. The family has patronized the village for many years. I carry myself with honor. I would never disrespect any human being by calling them outside of their name. That of what you did. You don't know the impact what you've done to my son. But maybe you were unaware. If you were. It doesn't matter about you noticing me. You shouldn't be speaking that way, period. So if you know that, then why do that, man? All I heard, I thought you hurt my leg. You hurt your leg and you said, I didn't even know you were listening to what I'm saying. I am. How long have you worked here? Over 20 years. Over 20 years, and you're acting that way. You don't know. You don't. You don't know what straw could break the camel's back. You don't know. But you disrespected myself. You disrespected my family. But I would never do your children or your family or even you or no human being that way. I would never treat anybody that way. But I want you to know man to man. That's not good. If you don't know what young man, I have grace and honor. And I was raised with morals and values. But I lost a lot. I lost my mother. I lost my mother-in-law. I lost my sister. All that shit. You don't know what mental state the next human being could be in. And it wouldn't be a cop. It wouldn't be a, a security guard. It wouldn't be nobody that could stop me from getting on your ass if I wanted to. You understand me? So I want you to know that. Think about that. It doesn't matter about the age. You treat human beings with respect and morals and values. You understand that? Now, I have to go home and correct my 10-year-old not to be a damn idiot. Don't act a fool. Don't be like Homer. Homer don't have respect for my kind or any human being. This ain't a black and white issue. This is an idiot issue. And I want it to be addressed. So I told your supervisor, we have you, we have everybody heard you say it. So I want the whole store to know you was dead wrong. And I just bought this stuff at dealers with Homer working here. I wouldn't treat anybody like that, man. And you're dead wrong. So may God bless you. And you keep moving forward, and I'll pray for you. Thank you. Take a look at these Kens in red, yellow, and green snowmobiles who refuse to turn around and leave this man's property simply because it's inconvenient for them. To me, it sounds like trespassers trying to defend trespassing. It's like a hundred of y'all coming through here. Imagine that happening at, in your home. I'm pretty sure you own your home, right? Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't want that happening. So I'm not being mean. 
you know, it's it's a nuisance at this point. And it's tough to shovel. I can't even shovel that when y'all go past it. It mats everything down, right? So I can't even shovel that. Huh? I appreciate you. Thank you for understanding. What's your name? Joe. I'm sorry. I'm Joe. My, I'm my kids. We're just coming from the way we're trying to get back to uh, uh, Youngsville. I, under, I, I totally understand. It's like a throughway, but I got to cut that off. Yeah, I hear you. I'll tell people. Thank you so much, no, Joe. I'm Wale. Right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, they'll have to find another way then. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, y'all. Hold on a second. No, y'all got to go back that way. That yeah, y'all got to go back. I can't have nobody coming through there because I'm not going to move no branches. I and I just know. told another family and I told another teenager, it's too much. I'm not going to move it. I got no reverse, You got to try to turn it around like everybody else. Three of us got no reverse, man. Listen, if you just let us through, I got my 10-year-old, my 13-year-old. Can't do it. Cannot do it. And this is your son here? No, that's not my son. Who's this guy? Hey, excuse me. This is my private property. That's what's okay. up. All right. We'll never come through here again. I well, promise. you got to still go back the other way. You got to go back the other way. That is all. No that is it, man. Right. That is it. Listen, bud, there's no sign back there. There is a sign back there. Maybe somebody moved it. No but you're moving it right now. I'll make sure that we make sure we handle this. Now we say no trespassing. Now you know the law. Now somebody come on your law and how you somebody come on your land. You know how you handle it. Now yeah. there's some bunch of things. There's a bunch of ways how we handle it. Now I done talked to Joe very calmly and respectfully. Now if you want to still kind of move and try to come through my land, you starting the problem here. You creating the problem. I, I get it. We're gonna we're gonna tell. Something. I need you to turn around. All right. I got no reverse. It doesn't matter. Everybody else just turned it around. You could turn it around. Not everybody got snowmobiles. I don't have a snowmobile. So I'm pretty sure you understand that's a luxury. It is a luxury for you to be able to get through, right? right. I cannot afford a, a snowmobile. I don't know how long it took you to close on your home. It took me eight months. I tell that to anybody else. They like, that's crazy. It don't make sense. Do you understand that? So... I can't care whether you have um, reverse or not. Thank you for understanding. No, I'm not going to. It's not a conversation, ma'am. It's nothing against you or anyone else. Other people are going to come here with the same story. They're going to keep coming with the same story about go through and they got people coming here with just as many people you got y'all coming with six going through a private private property yeah. you know what happens when people come on people private property right you gotta understand something no i don't have to understand on my own property i know but where we drove to come through here there's not one posted sign okay there's nothing to mark it trust me it is somebody probably knocked it down do you know how you properly post your property you have to have a sign every 25 feet or 25 yards. I'm telling you right now, you literally talking to the owner and the owner is telling you to be off his property to go that way. And you're telling me about a particular sign. You wouldn't be trying to have a conversation with me if I came there with a bunch of people, right? You would not. Listen, can you go, please? Listen, my, listen I just listen. Are you Let me ask you, if we're on your property, hold on a second. If we're on your property right now, are you this is my property. This right here is your property. This is my property. No, no, no. That's not what I just asked you. Is this your property, what we're on right now? You are on my property. Yes, you are. You tell me you're not going to let us go 15 yards, but you want us to drive 100 more yards through your property. I want you to go back where you came because I'm not moving these because I want to keep them there. It's a deterrent from both ways. People come from this way, and I'm pretty sure you have before. They come from this way, and they come from that way. Why is it so much of a big issue for you to go back? Why are you trying to why why are you trying to argue with somebody on private property? Because we're just trying to get back home. That's not my problem. We have not sat down and had dinner together. Why are y'all trying to communicate with me like we're friends, we're old friends? No, you want to actually get through because it's your own personal reasons. No, because I want to get my kids home. It wasn't blocked on the way here. You gotta go back that way. That's not my fault. Who fault is that? You, who fault is that? Well, we didn't see, we didn't know this was private 
You trying to tell me you didn't know? You never went here before? Never in our life. This is our first time. We That's not my problem. Here. You're about to tell me that that's not my property right there. But this here is not your property. That is also my property. That is also my property. Yes, that is. You can ask my neighbor over there. That is also my property. Anywhere in here, my neighbor uses my driveway to be able to get in. Okay? That is my property. Where you came through is also my property. You are on my property right now and debating me about my property. I am going to see the authorities about this right here. Okay, good day. I can't argue with you all day. I got a shovel list. I don't have enough money for a snowmobile. I, I don't have enough money to actually have this driveway cleared. So I cannot hear what you're saying right now, okay? You're going to probably, no, I, I, I already got it. This is the first time y'all came through here. I swear, man. First the time first time y'all came through here. First time today. All, all, no, this is the first time we're coming through here. We're trying to get back. We're in Oldenburg, man. We're trying to get back you, to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create a toll. You know how many, you know how many people y'all got with y'all? Yeah. Imagine how many people already came through here. Listen, I'm going to create a toll because there's too many people coming in here, and it's going to be at a particular time. I get it, but we'll come here and plow this for you, right? You want me to come up here? I'm already plowing it. I'm already doing it with a shovel. No, we'll plow it for I get on it. Any any problem I got, I already get on it. I don't wait for nobody. I don't wait for nothing. No handouts. Nobody got to give me nothing. Y'all looking for me to give you a handout no, to go through on my property. It's unbelievable. People are pushed out of the freaking country because there's some imaginary borders. Y'all want to come through private property. I guarantee you that don't make any sense to anyone. I'm not okay. Nope. Listen, man, one hand washed the other. One neighbor to another neighbor. Another neighbor. That's it. You've never washed my hand. Really? Well, we're going to, listen, we're going to plow your driveway to let it go through with my two kids. Right no. Now. Never again. No. Just one time. We'll come up, we'll plow the end of it. You guys will be not, you're not the last of it. You're taking it personal when you can just turn around. You know what? Pick those up and you can turn them around. You can pick them up and you can turn them around. You can pick them up and you can turn them around. Back where you came. But we have no other way to get home and I have two kids here. No other way to get home. So you did come by here before. No, we, this is the only way we know that the that, that direction know. tells us to go. That's which way, right. which one is it? Which one is it? You've not come here or this is the only way? We came from Oldenburg. We're trying to find our way. From the Google Maps, this is the way it shows us. What Google Map? Google Maps. What Google Map? How y'all getting the Google Map here? Google Maps up there. Just click on it. Right there. This, no, no, thank you. I don't want to keep arguing with y'all. I'm losing sunlight right now. Okay. I don't want to keep arguing with y'all. Y'all would not even be that kind if I came on your, your on your property. How do you know that? I know that. Everyone has their property. Everybody. That's everyone else. That's everyone else. People got no trespassing for a reason. And it's up there. It might be on the ground, but you can see it. All right. All right. Praise him. Praise him. I'm making your life hard. Did you hear yourself? I'm making your life hard. You coming on my private property. I have nothing. I owe you nothing. You owe me nothing. I owe you nothing.